Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're having Wendy's. My favorite meal from Wendy's is the bacon bourbon one. And if you guys know me, I don't really like bacon, so chances are I probably will take out this bacon. Why do I get it with bacon in it? Good question. I could just ask for it to be out or put it on the side, but I guess it is what it is. So we've got the meal, the double one with the fries and a Coke down over here. Oh, already making a mess. <gasps> You know me, making mess over here. And now we're going to eat because I am so hungry. And I gotta be careful with this thing here. Okay, let's just have a bite. I just finished grocery shopping, so uh, that was a pain. And then putting gas. I my, The thing that I hate the most is having to fill up the gas myself. Like in Oregon, they do it for you, which is where I am now. But at the Fred Myers that I went to, they Nobody was there to fill it up, so I had to do it, so I was getting, like, some anxiety. I don't know. Mmm. I haven't had this in forever. I feel like this tastes different. Mmm. But these fries are tasting freaking delicious. They taste like heaven. <clears throat> I'm trying so hard not to make a big mess. Take a bite. I'm parked across Peckle, but I'm not going to go because I think it closes now, if not super soon. It's currently like 7 or 8 p.m. The store wasn't as busy. The best time to shop, honestly, is like around this time or even more later in, in the night. Yum. So yeah, I was having just anxiety about um, filling up my own gas tank. I think it's because for a while I was not driving because, you know, I sold my car and I didn't have a car on me for a good while. So when I started to fill up gas again on my own, for some weird reason, I just got so nervous and like this anxiety grew about having to fill up my own gas. But I did good because in that gas station too, once, like, I couldn't even hardly get my card out. It, it was weird. Very crazy. Mm-mm. Is it just me? Or does fast food not taste as good as it used to? I don't know. Maybe it's from not eating it as much. Like I used to. That I don't crave it as, um, as much. And it just doesn't taste as good as I thought it did. I don't know. Maybe my taste buds are not used to it anymore. I can't even taste the bacon. Really. weird very very weird but I guess it's a good thing but this will be perfect this will be for the rest of the day I also got like this chocolate cake let me show you chocolate cake there's this thing in the hair. There's a weird piece of thing in here. Is that a string in here? Okay, I'm probably not gonna eat this. What is that? It's freaking weird. Great. Yeah, definitely not gonna eat that. That one has 380 calories. If it has something weird in there, oh, I don't know. Damn, I should have inspected it, but I feel like you shouldn't have to inspect something like that. Another anxiety of mine, thing that I just don't like is um, loading things on the, like you know when you're going grocery shopping and you go to the checkout and you have to like load things on the thingamajigger so they can slide up to the lady. 
I don't know why I get so much anxiety about having to load things. It just stresses me out because I feel like I have to rush and you know there's always a line behind me or like there's you know one person even if it's just one person I feel like I'm taking a long ass time. It just stresses me out so much. Like that's what I hate the most about grocery shopping is having to to put things on that thing to load them or whatever. I don't know. This gives me major anxiety, stresses me out. Diet Coke. Sorry, that guy. I thought he was like right next to me. Scared me for a second. <coughs> <coughs> I feel like my voice is getting raspy. Yum. Ooh, sorry, hiccup. I always get that like one hiccup right before, right after I drink a soda. Ah, it's crazy. Why is this tasting nuts? It tastes like, I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't had it in so long I forgot what it tastes like. Definitely been a while since I've had, um, Wendy's. Since my last Wendy's video, which I don't know when that was. <clears throat> I'm four points or four pounds from being down into like another number. You know how there's like 90s, 80s, 60s, 70s? I'm close to being down towards another one, which I'm so excited. Sorry, let me fix this real quick. <clears throat> so I have currently 33 pounds to go to get to my goal weight. I'm so excited. Like I'm slowly starting to learn or uh, see the transformation like go to my face a little bit and other parts of my body. Like in the beginning, like I said, at first it was just the sides and the back. Now it's just slowly kind of going all over the place. My face kind of is getting more slimmer like over in this area. Might not look like this as much and I still have chubby cheeks, which ugh, I don't like, but hopefully at least when I lose the 33 pounds it'll be gone like you know and when I do lose the weight I'm gonna also do like kind of a video I'm thinking about like how I was when I in high school or something like my before and then um kind of in the middle stages as I started losing the weight to where I lost it I don't know we'll see we'll see That's the goal anyways. I was craving Panda Express, but they were closed. Hmm. Yum. So is there anything else to update you guys on? Mm, let me see. Yeah, 33 pounds till my first goal, which is my main goal. And then after that, I want to lose like a 10, 10 more pounds, 10, 15 more pounds. But I just had a realistic goal because I felt like that was a good starting point, which it is. And then I'm going to go down 10, 15 more points after that. But I'm close to it. Like, oh, crazy. I never thought that. I would stick to something this long like I mean I knew that I could do this and that it was possible but just actually being here losing already 33 pounds and 33 more to go is crazy 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 mm, damn I don't post my weight loss story really on Instagram as much. Or ever really because I'm not on there, but as much. If you want to keep up with me and see like photos of me and how I, the pro I guess the progress of it, just add me on Snapchat. I post on there. Mm, yum. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like I feel like 
definitely slowly starting to notice the weight loss everywhere. You guys might not notice it because it just, especially in the face, it doesn't much look like a difference, but everywhere else you'll see, like I'm trying to take some photos and videos and everything, and but I always forget to, like of the progress. Like every time I go to, uh, 10 pounds down, I'm trying to take photos of that so I can like show and probably share with you guys if I'm not shy because that's a lot to like share like a weight loss journey like before and after pictures I feel like but I don't know maybe I will why is this guy just riding around in his bike <clears throat> I hope the lighting's not too bad over here. I'm at the Home Depot parking lot, by the way, if anybody's curious. Mm. So yeah. just focusing on my weight loss I'm not trying to go crazy and like you know feel like I have to lose 10 20 pounds a month uh -uh. I mean I would love to lose 10 pounds a month but that's not always possible what I'm trying to see it is it's as a it's a life journey so it's gonna take time and I have time but I don't want to take too long I like I want to lose at least 20 more pounds by the end of this year so yeah Mm. It's exciting. These fries are so good. I'm gonna put these into my calorie. I guess today is kind of like my cheat day for this, so it'll be fine. A cheat meal once a week if I'm craving it. Like I said, I was really craving Chinese food, but then I was gonna get Taco Bell, just got like an Archibald Grande and not feel anything, but I was like, I'm not really craving that, so I was like, let me try Wendy's. And here we are. You know what I want to do? I'm thinking either sometime, if not this year, next year, I'm going to try and go to, like, Europe. And I want to spend, like, a month in my birthplace. If you guys are wondering, that's Gilan, which is in Kosovo. And I just, like, I just want to go back home and just learn where I'm from and just, you know all that stuff but tickets to go back into Europe is like I think two thousand dollars if I'm correct I'd have to check but yeah pricey or to Germany I have an aunt who lives in Germany so I can go visit her and stay with her and my cousins down there and just have some fun party in Germany Woo. Uh -huh. I wonder what it's like there especially like with the guys in Europe Interesting. I wonder if they're different from like American guys. It's a shame I can't eat that freaking cake. It has this like weird thing in here. It looks like a piece of thread. Should I open it and see what it is? Let's see. Is it like this? Okay. Hold on, y'all. Excuse me. Here it is. It's just so freaking weird. Like, what would this be? Oh, it's nothing. I guess it's just like a small thread, but I don't think anything's in here. If I decide to eat this, I don't know. I'd have to inspect it first. Probably not a good idea to eat it. Whatever. Waste the money. It's a lot of calories, so even if I was to eat something like that, I'd have to plan it within my calorie thing, so we'll see. Anyways, yeah, let's take one last bite, because I'm starting to get really full. Mmm! Yummy!
I was wondering, how do you guys eat your uh, burgers and fries? I know some people eat the fries first and then the burger. Some eat them together. Some eat the, um, the burger first and then the fries after. Let me know what you guys like to do. I like to eat both at the same time. I don't know how people eat the fries first. I feel like that would fill you up really quickly. And then you won't be able to really enjoy your, you know, your hamburger or whatever you ordered. Mmm, delicious. Okay. I am done here. Man, it's a lot of food. It's a lot, a lot of food. If that's it for this week, that'll be my food for this week. My cheat meal. Thirty-three pounds. It's lost thirty-three. Thirty-three more to go. It's crazy. I I can't believe it. And I'm in a number that I haven't been in like forever. Wow. Like my goal again isn't to get super skinny. It's just to get obviously to look, not to look better, but to feel better in the clothes that I wear and to be able to buy the clothes that I've always wanted to wear. Like you know those cute little crop tops or things like that. Maybe show my belly if I want to. I just want like a flat stomach. And just like, you know, wear the clothes that I've always wanted that I wasn't confident to wear when, you know, I was bigger. I don't know. But we're getting there slowly but surely. And then when we get to my goal weight, I'll start buying all the things that I've wanted. All the cute dresses. I mean, I still have cute dresses now, but like cute tops and, you know, all those things. And it'll be crazy. I'm excited. So if you guys are thinking about losing weight, go for it. Don't let anyone stop you. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. You know, just like what's working for me again is counting calories, watching what I eat. Don't eat out as often. If you're craving a, a, one of these, is plan it within your calorie limit and just have one cheat day. It's not going to kill you. And then work it off when you're done eating. Go to the gym or work out at home or something. There are so many things that you can do. So anyways, I'm going to cut this short before the video gets unbelievably long because I'm starting to kind of just talk about random stuff kind of so I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching